My name's Taylor and today we're going to be testing the $1 billion morning routine. This video has gone viral on YouTube and claims to be what some of the most successful people do in the morning. So we're going to try this thing out. Things get wild. Here we go. All right, good morning. It's 7.37. Normally the first thing I would do is go on my phone right away. I even ignore my uh, screen time. <laughs> I have it limited till 8 a.m. But usually I just press ignore and go straight on my phone. So one of his main ideas is that instead of being reactive, so instead of opening your phone and reacting to emails, reacting to texts and being distracted, it's better to start off with yourself having a vision and you creating the momentum for the day. So I like that. I agree, that's probably a good thing. A few months ago, I would just like pop out of bed and first thing, go walk, like literally put on gym clothes, have coffee, go walk, and I wouldn't open my phone. And I think that was, that was good. So the first thing we're supposed to do in this billionaire morning routine is lay here and try and recall your dreams. So he says that your subconscious mind is processing things throughout the day that happened. It's good to recall them. So I would say like, 30% of the time I can remember my dreams. So I'm gonna lay here and try and recall my dreams. And try not to fall back asleep. Yes, I sleep with a pregnancy pillow. <laughs> I remember like two things. What's next? I'm ready for coffee. Make your bed. First thing, take the pill. I gotta put pants on. Pants have been acquired before I got the pregnancy pillow, which by the way, I'm not, not pregnant. Uh, it just helps my body. But before I started sleeping with that, I would normally make my bed most days, but since the pregnancy pillow, it's just harder to make because the thing's so big. <laughs> Got my heat pack. It's just so freaking huge. So whenever I do make my bed, I'll like fold this up, put it against like as a headboard kind of, but I'm gonna make it look pretty today. Okay, that was good, I like that. I'm feeling accomplished. One of the reasons they tell you to make your bed first thing in the morning is just so you can check something off the list and you're already starting your day with a win. Next up, we're supposed to take vitamins and probiotics because he says your gut is your second brain. Uh, I don't know how this dude does that on an empty stomach. I cannot, so I will do that when we're in the eating zone. But I'm also trying out different probiotics and stuff. I'll show you the one I'm using right now. So what I'm trying is the Good Girl probiotics. I don't know, I listened to a podcast with Lo Bosworth. I was sold. She's the founder, but let me know your favorite probiotic brands and vitamin brands, let me know down below. What's next on the list? I got it on my iPad over here. Next up it says we're supposed to do a 20 minute breathing and meditation. I do like two minutes of, I try to remember, of just deep breathing because it can be really good for your physical body. And I usually do box breathing. He says, do whatever meditation, whatever breathing you want, but for 20 minutes. So there's a bunch of different apps that you can use for meditation. This is not sponsored by anyone, by the way, but if you have a hatch, they do have meditations on here. They have like sleep meditation and then mindfulness. So maybe I'll do a mindfulness meditation. I might just do a couple of the 10 minute ones. Why did I make my bed? This seems out of order. I guess I'm gonna lay on top of my bed and meditate, which it's already almost eight o'clock. So I feel like 20 minutes of meditation is a long time, but I usually don't do this, so we'll see. I just wanna know when the caffeine can enter my body. Okay, that was hard <laughs> just because it was very hard to focus for that long and 20 minutes honestly felt like 40 minutes. I kept thinking about coffee and then I thought about all my plans for the day, what I needed to do. It was very hard for me to just like focus on what they were saying and not let my mind wander. So I definitely need to uh, practice at that. I think for me, I feel like five minutes would be a good <laughs> starting place because even the five minute one felt pretty long. If you've never meditated, try it. You'll see how long it feels. Do you guys meditate every day? Let me know. I know it's really good for you. Like I've read studies about meditation and stuff. I know it is very good for you. It's just like one of those things where I think I would be able to easier do and justify spending the time on a five minute one and just doing like the breathing exercises for five minutes. So now on the list, it is, oh Jesus. <laughs> We're about to do one to two minutes of high intensity movement. He says jumping jacks or crunches. I need to do low impact, so I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do squats right now. He doesn't even drink coffee, first of all. He has tea, he's a tea person. So I think for the sake of continuing on this video and not being 
literally half asleep or starting to feel shitty, I'm gonna make a cup of coffee before I do some high intensity movement, okay? I don't trust people who don't drink coffee. I've never been more excited. Yes, my thing needs to be cleaned. This is real life. Okay, it also just splatters. Like, I literally cleaned it about two days ago. It just splatters now. I don't know what's happening. I've tried cleaning, doing all the filter things. This is what it's all about. I'm supposed to be doing jumping jacks or something right now. One or two minutes. I like that. You know which one I'm doing. Setting my timer for it. Let's do, you know what? We don't want to go the lowest, you know? I want to achieve a little more here, so let's do one minute, 30 seconds. All right, here we go. I should have put on some music or something. Oh, it's pretty quick. Definitely got the heart rate up, which I think was the goal. I'm sure if you did jumping jacks, you'd be like extra, I mean, I'm breathing hard, so I don't know. Rehydrate. Okay, let's talk about this next task because out of, out of everything, I think this is the thing that's gonna be um, the least fun. He takes an ice cold friggin' shower every morning. What a guy, you know? What a guy. He says he does that because taking a cold shower helps to reset your central nervous system and is also good for inflammation. So I am curious how this is gonna feel, but you know, I'm gonna give it a go. Cold showers. By the way, I still haven't gone on my phone at all besides looking at my notes for what I need to do in this video, so that's. That feels good actually. Feels good that I haven't like read emails yet, haven't looked at texts or anything. I feel like I should get this cold shower over with because the sooner I do that, the sooner there is food in my body. How am I gonna set up my camera? On. One time of that, you know, it's fine. Not fun, but fine. To do that every single morning, <laughs> can't imagine. It makes you thankful for warm water, running water. When I lived in Jordan, we used to boil, like put big pots on the stove and then boil water and take the bucket into the tub and then just shower and like wash your hair that way. So I just want to know, does he like hit himself with some hot water at the very end, you know, just to make it a little more enjoyable. We're in my closet because at this point he says to get ready for the day. Just want to point out he still has not had a sip or bite of anything. <laughs> he hasn't had his tea yet, folks. How's it happening? So today, since I'm filming this video, the plan is to get a bunch of computer work done. So I'm mostly going to be doing that, not filming another video today. So I think I'm going to keep it very simple today for the for everything. Outfit, hair, makeup. I got these yoga pants off Amazon. They're like the, you know, like the butt ones. They're actually very comfortable and they have like, I like the crossover band. I'm gonna wear these. I know I'm gonna try and walk at some point today, like in the afternoon, I'll put on clothes that I can also just walk in. You know, I don't have to do another outfit change. Hair needs to be washed real bad right now, so dry shampoo it is. I'm gonna do a quick little flat iron curl situation. Okay, I'm like halfway through my hair here, but I feel like I need to clarify because I saw some comments on his video that were confused, but the goal of this routine is not to uh, make you become a billionaire. That would be great if a 10 minute YouTube video could do that, but more so to try and practice some of the techniques and routine that obviously a highly successful person does every day. Some of these things you might end up really liking and keeping your routine and same with me. Some of them I might never do again, like the cold shower. You never know until you try. It's already been about an hour and a half since I woke up. Yeah, it's 8.50 right now. If you're trying to do this before going to work or starting your work in the morning, you'd have to wake up pretty early to do all this because we're not even halfway done. And obviously this dude doesn't have to like do his hair and makeup. And there's a few big ones we haven't even done yet. Here's my little life hack for you, okay? Always put on perfume in the morning because even if you're not going anywhere, it just makes you feel more put together. Let's do some mixing. I think I'm gonna mix Bon Bon. This one's super sweet with Tokyo Milk Dark. I'm in my filming room right now. If you're new to my channel, by the way, hello, my name's Taylor. I do a lot of beauty videos, but I also do vlogs and other content kind of like this. So if you want to stick around, you can subscribe. Thank you. But that's what that light is and the ridiculous amount of makeup you see behind me. <laughs> that needs to be cleaned up. But I just put on Supergoop Glow Screen. Love this SPF. 
I do have a virtual doctor's appointment in about a half hour, so I'm gonna have to pause for that, but I do wanna get a little bit ready. I'm gonna use the Tarte Hydroflex C foundation. So I finished my makeup, just got off the Zoom call with the doctor, and now I'm about to move on to the next step here, which is journaling. So I've got my notebook. I used to be a big, big fan of journaling back in the day, like as a kid. I used to have like 30 different journals. I think I just liked buying the journal. I know journaling, a lot of people recommend it. I've tried to do it a couple times and I don't really know like where to start or what to get out really. I don't know if you also feel like that, but I'm just kind of like, what do I journal about? Maybe I need to get one that has like a prompt or something, but I do feel like today I do have things that I could kind of sort out and just write down and see if I kind of like think through some things and figure some stuff out for myself by writing it out. He also says in his video that some of the most amazing thinkers of history journaled like Einstein, Da Vinci, Edison. So um, yeah, I'm trying to Da Vinci it up right now. Then he also makes his to-do list in the morning. I always make my to-do list the night before because I like just waking up and knowing exactly what I have to do and when I have to do it by. But I'm gonna try his method today, which is you do three things for work that you wanna get done, three things personally, and then you make a to-feel list. So three things for work. Let's make a work category here. Need to whip out my highlighters. And then he also actually has a to-be list. Okay, so I finished my to-do list in his style. I actually really like doing this, even though I already have my like full to-do list and other tasks and stuff on Google Calendar and Google Keep. This was just like kind of relaxing to do and I also really like these two categories. You don't really sit down and think about who do you wanna be that day. And I like the way that he described this, which is like you can prioritize different things different days and that's kind of like accumulation of who you end up being. So like today I've, I've been meaning to text my uncle who isn't doing too well, so. I'm gonna call her, text him. I wanna be a good friend, check in on Rach and a couple of my other friends, and then a hard worker so I can get all this stuff and more done today. To feel was a little bit harder for me, but I just put productive, fulfilled, and hopefully I don't have a bad pain day so that I can get all this stuff done. So here's what I put in my work category. I have a few other tasks in my Google Calendar that I also need to do, but these were, he basically said put your like top three priorities where if you get three of those things done, you would feel good at the end of the day. So for personal, I put, I really need to unpack my suitcase. <laughs> Just sitting there in the laundry room with tons of clothes. I have the lake night and then I also wanna walk slash stretch. So I really like this. I could see myself continuing to do this. As far as the journaling, Personally, for me, I feel like in order to get in that mindset, I need to like, you know, be feeling a little emotional and stuff. And I feel like I would be a better journaler at night because in the morning, that's when I'm the most productive with work stuff. Getting like in my head and feeling all the emotions in order to like write down and journal, I feel like for me personally, would not be the best start to my morning. I'd rather journal at night. Next on our list here. Oh my God, we're still not eating. Now I'm gonna read for about 20 to 30 minutes. I also usually read at nighttime because it's kind of like a way to unwind for me. He has a, wow, very slow, slow morning here. I think the thing you have to keep in mind with these kind of routines is that everyone works differently. And if you read the book, Rest, I'm gonna link it down below. I'm pretty sure that was the book that talked a lot about finding your optimal, actually no, it was not Rest. I'm gonna link the book I'm thinking of down below, but one of the books I read recently was talking about how you need to figure out your like optimal times for success and then plan your schedule around that. So if you're someone who just doesn't turn on, like your brain doesn't turn on in the morning, that might be a good time to go work out, read, like do the things that me personally, I would do at nighttime. And then after that, I think we get to eat. So this is one of the books I'm currently reading. I'm kind of like switching between three. I talked about this in one of my recent vlogs, but the, this title like makes me cringe because it's just like, you know, a click, it's a clickbaity kind of book title. It's just about investing, setting yourself up well for the future and kind of the basics of everything. He breaks it down really well. 
This is the insane power of compounding, you guys. If you invest just $937 each year at an average, this is the average S&P 500 rate, 11.9% for the past 40 years, you would have $221,000 in 30 years for doing literally nothing. Next up is making what he calls a brain smoothie. So he puts in blueberries for antioxidants and blueberries also help with um, inflammation, by the way. And then he puts in a bunch of leafy greens and he put in an avocado. My avocado that I have isn't ripe yet. So I'm gonna kind of do my own little smoothie mixture here. I primarily want it to be banana. Those are just frozen, peanut butter banana flavor. I have this powdered PB2 I use in smoothies, this stuff, but I also wanna make it like a coffee peanut butter banana smoothie. That sounds kind of good. So I'm gonna put in some Nescafe. I like to add ginger for also inflammation and ginger can help with migraines too. So I'm gonna put in about, I don't even know, I kind of just eyeball it, usually like a fourth of a teaspoon. I don't want the ginger flavor too strong in this either. And then I'm just gonna throw in a ton of spinach and also some chia seeds. I'm not gonna use protein powder today. And cashew milk, I love this stuff, the unsweet, because it's only 25 calories per serving. So if you just want something to like make your smoothies creamier, this is a really good option. That was a good one. I feel like whenever you put frozen banana in, you can't go wrong because it just tastes like banana. I do feel the uh, ginger a little bit. Normally I just chug ginger, like I'll put it in a cup of water and mix it and just chug it. But this is the end of his billion dollar morning routine. I have some thoughts. I feel like I told you guys along the way, but there are definitely some things I want to keep incorporating. Like I want to do the five minute breathing meditation more regularly. I really like the to-do list thing. I mean, smoothies are always good. Would definitely start caffeine way sooner <laughs> cold shower never again and like i said the reading and journaling i prefer to do at night by the way i did brush my teeth this morning i didn't show that and i was thinking about that that you guys probably think i did brush my teeth i did but let's see whoa right now it's 11 08 i've been up for three and a half hours that took me three and a half hours to do keep in mind i did have the doctor's appointment for a half hour so without that and also without filming this would probably take like two and a half hours maybe, which that's a long time. I do like the no phone first thing in the morning. I like definitely certain aspects that I'm gonna try and continue to do, but I also like to just like get going on work first thing in the morning. I feel like that's when I'm like the most productive with working. So I think I'm gonna find a balance here, you know? Let me know if you guys try this out, what you think, which things would you keep doing? Which ones would you never do? Let us all know down below. If you're new here, you can subscribe. I upload twice a week. I'm gonna link my blog playlist down below if you like videos similar to this style, you can watch those. But I'm gonna finish my green smoothie here and get to working. So I love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye.